Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I got just a note to drop on you. Tonight I was listening to uh, the Rubin Report on uh, YouTube, and I heard Ro Roseanne Barr. She seems to be the most level-headed person that I've heard interviewed in a long time. I mean, she wasn't acting stupid and crazy, though that is her part of her show sometimes, but she was down to earth and things that came out of her mouth are the same things that I've been putting on Facebook and YouTube. People taking care of one another. And the reason that they don't is because she says people are full of bullshit. You know, <clears throat> I just want to say I have nine children. Nine children. And they are wonderful children. I love them all. And I must admit that some of them I have never done anything for because I haven't had anything to do anything with. And the reason is because I didn't sell my soul to work for the snake. <coughs> and at this point, if there's one thing I regret, as wonderful as my kids are, as much as I love them, though I've never been able to help some of them, my biggest regret is that I played a part in bringing them into this hellhole. If I could do it all over again, there's no way in the world I would bring anyone in this hell. I wouldn't curse them like that. I wouldn't do that to them. But I've done it. And right now I stand up and I advocate for that which is true, that which is pure. The same things that I would want for my kids, peace, prosperity, and joy making sure that the things that are essential for their survival, like food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, and a career of their choosing, so they can participate in creating these goods and services, would entitle them to them, and everybody else as well. But it is the most hated message in the world. Nobody would, is willing to lift up a finger for that. Now, when I say nobody, I'm talking about 98% of the population isn't thinking about that. Oh, they pray for it. Oh, they say they want it. Will they lift a finger? No way. Will the Republicans lift a finger for that? No way. Will the Democrats lift a finger for that? No way. Will the Catholic Church lift a finger for that? No way. Will the Pentecostals lift a finger for that? No. Will any church, with any religious organization lift a finger for peace and prosperity and joy for every citizen on the face of the earth? Hell no. They, that's all, they all all about money. They talk that talk, but they walk another walk. This is why I say I don't like this hell. And there's nothing in this hell that I want outside of peace, prosperity, and joy and those things for everybody that I constantly speak about. And if we can't have that, I'd be saying to America and to this world, you can have this hell. And I know in order for me to get out of it, you got to kill me. I'm not killing myself, and I'm not dying from any sickness or disease. But you got to kill me, you dirty snake. Well, somebody said, why do you want to say that? Because that's what it is. That's what the people of this world are. Well, everybody's sucking. Yeah, but they don't want to listen to that which would deliver them. They want to pick up a gun thinking that they got the right to kill, and their right is justified. Nobody got a right to kill but the devil. Anybody that kills is a devil, is a demon from the pit of hell. I don't care where you are. You can be in the military, United States military, and I'm talking about Navy, Air Force, Marine, any other part of the military. You are a devil if you're killing. The only possible way that you can get out of killing is if you're defending yourself. Or if you're defending your country, and I mean literally defending it. That means that your, your country is basically standing up doing good for folks. Doing good, helping them in the same things that they help themselves in. And somebody don't like it and try to come and stop it. Then you got the right to stand up and say, I'm not having it that way. And that's the only reason you got a right to defend yourself. Otherwise, you are a demon from the pit of hell. And you ought to go to the show or to the store and buy you some horns and get you some devil, what they call devil, what, devil horn. You see these people doing that stuff like that? They, they've been tricked. The whole world been tricked because they think everything is fine. But, hey, tricked or not, they're going to pay for all of the bullshit. 
You're going to pay for it. I don't care who you are and where you are. You're going to pay for the bullshit. Because the God of love has said you shall reap what you sow. And that is a guarantee. Bye-bye.